Hi, and welcome to WGLR.com. I'm Ryan McCall, and I'm joined by <laughs> Kung Fu Rob Spangler and the special guest, Carly Whetstone. Welcome. Well, thank you. Thank you Good. so much for having me. This is not your first time in Wisconsin, is it? It's not. You know, I spend an awful lot of time in Green Bay. My best friends live there, uh, Laura and A.J. Hawk, and we get to go to a bunch of Packers games uh, every year, and so I come to Green Bay a bunch of times and have a lot of fun in, in Wisconsin. I'm from the Midwest, so it's always good to come back to the Midwest because I feel like home. Now, this is a serious question, but can we tackle you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can really try. But I don't think or would AJ hunt us down? That might be a bad idea, actually. We're just kidding, AJ. Yeah. And so where are you from in the Midwest? I'm from Ohio, from Ohio. Uh, Northeast Ohio, where it's very cold, not Wisconsin cold, but still very cold, uh, a small town called Warren. Oh. We're starting to see some more country music artists coming out of Ohio. Well, more absolutely. More, so. You know, music, I think people, it's funny, I've had a few people say, wow, country music in Ohio, but there really is a, a bunch of country music artists in Ohio, and really music in general is, is so important in Ohio. Now, we do have to apologize for the uh, beatdown that I knew that one was coming. I just knew it. Ohio I knew State. it. I knew it. So I do, you know, I do want, not to talk too much football, but I, I apologize. That's okay. You know, my husband played for Ohio State, and course being in Ohio we love our Buckeyes and I actually was lucky enough I wrote and recorded a song called Ohio and it plays every Saturday at the horseshoe so it's cool awesome. that you know hundred and some thousand people get to hear it every week so uh, I'm pretty familiar you know with the rivalry and everything my husband played at, at Wisconsin twice and he's got to play in a lot of great stadiums and you know the big house up at Penn State for the whiteout but he always said nothing 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 compared to playing at Wisconsin, the jump around, the craziness. So I was pretty nervous when the game started because I knew I knew what he always said about playing there. So I was I was worried and obviously I had good reason to be. <laughs> but uh, hopefully we'll go. We won't, you know, lose again. You guys better not lose again. That's the thing. Yeah. You can't go take down my number one bucks and then lose. So no options to lose in Iowa. No let down weekend. for the bad guys. Yes, none. That's right. Rob wore his badger colors. Yeah, yes I did. <laughs> And I wore my Buckeye color coat, scarlet and gray, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, Carly and I actually made friends earlier today, Rob, because we found out that one of, well, my all-time favorite artist is one of her favorite artists, too, Barbara Mandrell, so. Absolutely. I take it she's an influence? Well, where she really influenced me is, obviously, she's a great singer, obviously, she's a great artist, but her live show is really what I just, what, she really brought the show to country music, really to a level that I don't think any artist, male or female, had. She made it a show, a performance, you know, with their dancing. She played all the instruments. She was moving around. And just, I thought, just just gave me, I think we always thought growing up that could only be in pop music. But she made that in country music. And she brought the live show and interacted with the audience, I think, you know, just, just to a whole other world from what country music artists were doing at the time. And so for, for that, she was absolutely an influence on me. What other artists do you credit as an influence? Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks, really. You know, I can remember. Uh, oh, absolutely. I can remember the, the first time I heard Unanswered Prayers. My dad brought it home from work. And from that point on, it was like no turning back. We always had a ton of music in our house, every every kind of genre. But for me, after Garth, country music was it. So I, he just, everything about him inspired me. His, his live show, obviously, phenomenal. Uh, his ability to connect one on one, I thought, was just. Unbelievable, whether it's on the radio, you see him live, everywhere, just, you know, just, he could just touch you in a way that he felt like he was singing directly to you. And then also his songs, I mean, what, <laughs> the dance, I mean, you know, just the thunder rolls, so many just incredible songs that were what makes everything great about country music, a great story, a great lyric, uh, you know, great melody, so he was just, he's really it for me. Now, speaking awesome. of songs, you're going to be performing a song yes, for us here yes, in a moment. Yes. Well, tell us about it before you go ahead and perform it. Well, it's actually a really cool story. Um, I was performing at Nashville Songwriters Association. They asked me to come sing a few songs. And uh, Cherie Austin was also performing there the same night. And I went in front of her, and she went after me. And we kind of talked a little bit in the hallway. I was always a fan of her music, but had never had a chance to meet her. And she had her little Yorkie with her. I'm obsessed with dogs. <laughs> I have two Maltese, and I love them. So we were talking dogs and you know, just getting to know each other a little bit. And uh, so I went and sang my song, and then she followed me and sang a couple songs she had written. And she sang this song called I Didn't. And I heard her sing it, and I thought to myself, I really need that song. 
that like should be my song. <laughs> like I really need that song. Well, I kept running into her at songwriters nights around town, kept hearing her perform it, was annoying my husband to death, singing it around the house. So finally he looked at me one day and he said, if you don't go record that song, <laughs> I'm just gonna kill myself. So either record it or quit singing it. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> so, so we tracked the song down and recorded it a few weeks later and then we just released it now. So I'm really excited about it. So one question about Cherie, do you remember her from her sitcom days? Absolutely, the I facts of life, you take the good, you take the bad. She was hip hop. <laughs> that was, was my sister's yeah. favorite show in the world, so yeah. <laughs> Great. Now you have a special guest accompanying you. I do. You know, so. I have to say, we're so, so lucky on the radio tour to have with us Scott Whitehead of Hometown News. I'm sure all of you remember Minivan. And uh, Scott has just been amazing. Not only does he play the guitar amazing and sing amazing, he's just been a great mentor and puts me in check when I need to be, make sure I'm on time. And he's just really the best and has really become part of our family. So it's great. Cool. Well, right. let's get out of their way and, uh, and hear Carla perform. I do. All right. Yeah. That's great. Twitter, 
connect with me on Facebook because it's really a cool way for me to interact one-on-one, -on -one, hear your thoughts, your feedback, what you want to know more about, and it's just a lot of fun for me and hopefully for you too. Awesome. Well, Carly, thank you for spending some time with oh, us thank today. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thank you so, so much. Rob and I are going to enjoy our D cups. Thanks for visiting <laughs> on WGLR.com. <laughs> <laughs>